Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 15. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are now going to move on to the next of the bikes. We are going to BMW. We've got five bikes here. I think today we'll do BMW and Triumph and then we'll do the rest of them. Um, so we're starting off with the BMW Motorrad R1200 ST from 2005. And we've got a wide choice of colours actually. I quite like that red and silver. So we're going to go for that. Uh, and this is around the Grand Valley Speedway, so let's... Right, here we go. This is the third attempt to this. For some reason, I keep messing up on uh, some of the corners. Definitely messing up big time. Very nice. Nine seconds behind, let's go. Awesome. I went really quiet then of concentration. I don't know why I was even concentrating at that bit. I didn't need to concentrate there. I could concentrate here. Here. Let's go. Talk. Don't be quiet in a recording session. That's not a good mix. Right, we made it round this time. Perfect. Come on, can we get it? Can we get it? Yes, we can, hopefully. And there we go, we win. Awesome. Two minutes, 3.751. Very good. Let's go to the next one. And here we go. The BMW Motorrad 1200ST. Awesome. Got a nice bike. Lovely. Let's go to the next one, see what the next bike is. Okay, the next one is the Motorrad K1200R. That is awesome. Oh, I quite like that with the uh, silver color rather than the black color. Oh, but the black. Mm, what do I want? Oh, it's a tough choice. We'll go for black with the silver. Special stage route five. Let's go. All right, here we go. Slow down, careful. That uh, corner definitely catches me out quite often. Because it appears out of nowhere. It's just like, oh yeah, here's a corner right after the start line. You better slow down quick for that. Or you're going to crash. Big time. Very nice. I love these chicane corners here. They're really difficult in cars, but on the bikes, I've had no problems with them so far. The only problem I've had is uh, hitting my head on the inside of the corners. Because obviously that is a thing in this. You can get a bit too close to the inside. Even though getting to the inside is sort of like the best bit to get around the corner. You can't follow the curve because you're too close to the wall there. And obviously they haven't modified this track for Taurus Trophy. They've just left it as it is. Whoa, that was close. You saw that as well. Trying to follow the curb, and I wasn't even fully on the curb. And I nearly, you know, knocked myself off. 
Come on, off we go. Very nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, here is the start-finish line that's getting ready to break early. Perfect. Keep it as close to the inside there as possible without hitting the wall. And we can do an outside overtake. We've done a Formula 1 here. Many F1 drivers have done it before. That's why I couldn't do a name. But there we go. 2 minutes, 0.778. Very, very good time there. Awesome. And here we go. The BMW Motorrad K1200R. Very nice. In a nice color as well. Look at that. That looks enough that it could get away with being like a car style. That looks so cool. Especially those rims. Very nice bike. Uh, so next up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be riding the BMW Motorrad K1200S. Are they all K1200s? Yes, they are. Right, let's go for this one. And I really like that yellow. So we're going to go for it. Deep Forest Raceway, let's go. Well, uh, I did try and press start recording as soon as I started the race, but, uh, well, the capture card just didn't want to detect my input. But here we go, round Deep Forest Raceway in a bright yellow bike. I think at some point we are going to um, swap around our riding gear for the races, because obviously we've had this sort of like gold looking rider for ages. So as soon as I finish this session doing all of the challenges, I think I will swap over. Oh, that was close. I think I will swap the um, stuff. The riding gear. That's the word I was looking for. Whoa. Nearly lost the bike there. Here we go. Very nice. Right, floor it down here as we come into the tunnel towards the exit for the entrance of the second one. We use a rear brake to get round there. And then slam onto the brakes for this corner. Very nice. And we will have easily gained ourselves a second just from that corner in that section. We're using the rear brake instead of the main brakes. Both sets. Easily saves us a second. Awesome. Use a rear brake here as well gets you slowing down that you can control it through the corner, but as well not slow you down too much that you lose too much speed. I love this bike though. Look how cool it is. Yellow, silver, and black is like an amazing color combination. Oh, nearly lost control, but kept it stable. And there we have it. Very nice. And I pressed retry by accident. Oops. And there we go. Another BMW Motorrad K1200S from 2005. Next up is going to be the lap battles, I think. I think all of the supers are lap battles, because uh, so far they all have been. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, okay, so this is the, what is it called? The BMW K1200R Racing Modify, which is the same as this one. And then this is the same as this one. Okay, cool. Um, and we get a choice of colors. Now, I like this red. I really do. So I'm going to take that one. Oh, so this is around the autumn ring this time, and it's a finish within a 125.5. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Right, here we go. Time trial time. Let's see if we can get around the autumn ring quick enough. And it's gone quick around that first hairpin, surprisingly. One thing I am worried about is these corners. This is where a lot of time can be lost. Keep it flowing around there. And that was very good.
we go. We got around the second hairpin very well. That is all the hairpins done. We've just now got very tight corners and the roundabout to go. Or the spiral. I don't know what you want to call it. Call it what you want. But this thing is a very, very slow corner indeed. And on the exit, got a very good finish. Awesome. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. I think we can make it just about. And there we go. First try, 123.623. That is a very good lap there for the BMW. And we've got one more BMW bike to deal with. And here we go. We have the BMW Motorrad K1200R Racing Modify. Look at that red. That is very, very nice. I like that color a lot. And then what we're going to do, hopefully we can get that yellow and black on this next bike. Because if we can get that yellow color, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. No, we're stuck with the Castrol livery. Mm, no complaints, really. I'm just not a great fan of the colour scheme. But we're aiming for the same time, 125.5, which should actually be easier with this because it's quicker. All right, here we go. 125 to beat. Hopefully, this bike can do it. We have gone very wide at that first corner, though. But based on the fact that we did go so wide using the same braking... Wow. Near enough to the same braking point, I would presume this bike is going to be very quick around here. And we're going to have so much speed that it might not even be a worry based on the fact that we have one and a half seconds to play with. If we're slower than the other bike, we have one and a half seconds. If we're faster, which by the looks of it, it is got easy playing room. Awesome. Lifting it up a little bit as to not fall over through these heavily banked corners. Awesome. Obviously, Autumn Ring has been in every single Forza, uh, not Forza, Gran Turismo, since I think Gran Turismo... Three. Maybe even earlier than that. It could be Gran Turismo 2, actually. Or maybe even 1. Right, we don't have long left. Oh. 20, 21, 22. We're actually slower than last time with a 124.1. There's still plenty of room. Very nice result there. And here we go. Let's get our BMW Motor and K1200S Racing Modify. Very nice. And let's put our number on it. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. That is a nice looking bike. Just I would prefer it in the yellow and black that we had before. But yes, very nice. Um, we're going to move straight on to the next one. We're going to do the Triumph bikes next. So we have uh, J, J and E. So... These are easier than the last one. So we're doing the Triumph Sprint ST first. Let's go in silver this time. Right, here we go. Mechani is coming for you. Let's get around this corner. Come on. These are obviously the more modern Triumphs, but... I would have presumed that they would have had like some older bikes, but we haven't seen many old ones, which is a little bit surprising. Very nice. Come on, let's go. Come on. This bike does not like the corners. Oh, 
Awesome. Right, I think we should be able to catch up. Six seconds behind, should be able to catch up by the hairpin. Either the first one or the second one. We should be able to catch up. Awesome. Ah, oh, perfect exit there. Let's see if we can catch up for the hairpin. Come on, come on. Let's get it, let's get it. Two seconds behind. I think it might be the second hairpin then. Oh no. Maybe now. That was very good. That was an amazing pass. Look at that. Very good. 2 minutes 32.932. Amazing. Right, so we now have the uh, Triumph Sprint ST in aluminium steel. Or al aluminium silver, I'm not sure. I didn't read it properly. But next up is the Triumph Speed Triple 05. And this is in bright yellow, so let's go for it. Right, here we go. Nice. Awesome. Very nice. Let's get around this corner. I wonder if I can do what I did uh, a couple of episodes ago, where I actually overtook one of the bikes in this final section. It was awesome. I also think as well, today, today's recording session has gone on for a lot longer than I was expecting, because I was expecting to have finished this within three hours. Uh, it's been three hours now, and I still probably have about an hour left to go. Can we do the pass? We have done the pass. That was amazing. That was the most amazing pass ever. 1 minute 20.872 time wise. We have one more bike left to do for Triumph. Triumph Speed Triple. We now own one. Awesome. We got one more Triumph bike to deal with. Well, not really deal with, but uh, unlock. And then uh, that should be it for Triumph. I think it is. And the last one is the Triumph Triple Speed Racing Modifier. I would have rather had this one as the Racing Modifier. But, oh wow. Let's go. And we've only got black. Let's do it. Right, we're here at the Twin Ring of Mategi Circuit. I think this is actually the first time we've driven here. Or well, we might have driven a couple of times here before. I think we have because of um, the licenses. We definitely did one on the license. Right, let's get our first overtake before the second corner. And we have... Overshot the corner big time. Absolutely rubbish. Let's retry that. Here we go. So we need to make sure for the second corner our breaking point is a little bit earlier. To be fair, we always did have problems. Uh, Gran Turismo's always had problems with, like, recommending a breaking point for this corner. Um, obviously, Gran Turismo's never been good at its, like, predictive breaking. Whereas, Forza has been amazing. Done it twice in a row. Right, focus. Don't do it again. Let's not do it again. Let's get it. Okay, come on. Whereabouts is it this time? We've got the overtake. Let's lift. Okay, so the bike is trying to crash me off course. Thank you very much for that. 
Here we go. That is much better. And we're actually going to make the overtake really soon, surprisingly. For the Racing Modified Triumph, we are already in first place. Unbelievable. I was not expecting that. And there we go. 53 seconds. I don't think you can actually get an E that quick. An expert level challenge that quick. Wow. And here we go. The Triumph Triple Speed Racing Modify 05. Very good. And let's put a number on it. Da -da -da. Ba -da -ba 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 -na -na -na. Nice. And that is the BMW and the Triumphs all done. Next up, we've just got a Prilla, Ducati, MV, whatever this is, MV Augusta, and also Buell as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a Christmas